Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So we're still down here in the Undercity. I'm gonna keep moving on, go explore a little bit more. Um, if you remember we just finished off that set of apartments. Killed a couple guards in front of there and now we're gonna head down this way. See what else we can find. Uh, in those apartments we found this new set of armor which was slightly better than the Republic armor that we gave to Karth. As well as we found a guy named Matrix who was hiding out because he owed Davik money. Or no, sorry, he worked for the exchange. And uh, we gave him a permacrete detonator so he could fake his own death and blow up the cantina. Um, not the cantina. Gosh, sorry, the cantina's right here. I have it on my mind. Uh, blow up his apartment and get away. But we can go into the cantina and we can reclaim his or claim his bounty. Um, I think this guy's a Zock player? Hi there, not many, not too many people coming here to speak to me anymore. Most prefer the fancy surroundings of the upper city cantina. But nobody up in there carries the kind of Pazak cards I sell. Are you interested in purchasing some individual cards to bolster your Pazak deck? No. Um, Pazak is, it's like Star Wars Blackjack, essentially. You can play it for money. Maybe I will later. Well... Let me check something. What is the quick save button? Because it might be worth playing some to get a bit of money. I don't know how much it's all worth. Quick save is F4. Okay. Oh, he just sells. I think this guy probably plays it. Stranger, my name is Gelrud. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City <laughs> Cantina. Why were you banned? A simple misunderstanding. Some of the other Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the game. <laughs> so what if I win 15 matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. There's no justice. My lucky Pazak deck was confiscated and I was banned from the upper cantina. Since then I've been desperate to find a match. Well, I don't have a deck. You don't have a deck? Well, we can't play unless you have your own deck. Maybe you should go talk to Garouk in the upper cantina. He's looking to retire from the game, so he might sell you his deck. He'd probably even throw in a free lesson for you. Just come back and speak to me when you get your deck. It might be worth it. It might be worth it to play some Pazak. I don't know. I don't know how bad any money. I wonder if this guy will sell me a deck. This deck? Yeah, okay, everyone wants me to go talk to Garouk. No thanks. Um. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Uh, there is a mod I forgot to activate. So actually, I am going to go get that working right now. I will be right back. And I am back. Okay. So I think I got the mod working. Um. We'll find out in a little bit. Uh, it, I think it. If it works, it'll be a little bit more balanced this way. Because it that. That Twi'lek that we looted last episode is supposed to have Mandalorian armor. That's really good on him. But if it's not there, then it's a little bit more balanced. Because it's worth a lot, so I could sell it or give it to Karth. Karth would be unkillable. But I'll go ahead and shut up for this little cutscene here. Away. Hey, you not talk to talk like that. We just want to say hi to Big Bad Bounty Hunter Kalo Nord. Nah, this can't be Kalo Nord. He's supposed to be tough. This guy's nothing but a runt. One. What? What do you mean? You be funny, tough guy? You know who we are, Kalo. We're members of the Black Vulcan gang. You don't want to be getting funny with us, tough guy. Two. Me no understand. One, two, why he count? He trying to count how many of us is against him? It's three against one, Kalo. What do you think about those odds? Well, you have something more to say? Three. Oh. 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 And he just kills all three of them. Look at how short this guy is. He's a little Go tiny away. guy. You can also talk to him. Come on, Kalo. Let's see what you got. One. You don't scare Go me. <laughs> okay, I see your point. I'll be off then. Smart. If you if you go through that, he just insta kills you. I don't think you can fight. I don't think you even get to fight him. I didn't want to talk to this random guy. Alright, here's Holden, the guy who put that bounty on Dia. Huh? What? 
Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? You're the guy who put the bounty on Dia's head, right? You hear about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with a vibro blade. Why would she do that? Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know, she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. I want the bounty on her head removed. I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I work for Davik. I can't let her get away uh -huh. with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting a bounty. It's a lot of credits. You hire someone to kill her. It'll look like you weren't man enough to do it yourself. If I let her get away with it, I'll look even worse. She's got to pay, either with her life or 200 credits to buy my forgiveness. What if I can threaten him? You're threatening me? I work <laughs> for David Kang. If you kill me, you'll be signing your own death warrant. Yeah, that Do sounds about right. Favor and don't waste my time with stupid threats. If I let... You can do that if you want, but I doubt she's got 200 credits. That's a lot. If I... I wonder if I can just spam my way through this. If you're... If I... Nah, okay. You... Fine by me. That... We'll go talk to her at some point and see if we can get... Ah, another cutscene. Nice. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Little girl should not be in bar. This is no place for little girl. If little girl smart, she run away home now. Who you call a little girl, tuba face? Little girl need lesson in manners. Just a sec, boys. Saw bar, a little help here. I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Mission, I'm busy. They just brought my food. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. We don't want trouble with Wookie. Our problem with you, little girl. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. A little girl lucky she has big friend. Okay, they won't say anything. We'll talk to her. Yeah, I guess we'll talk to her right now. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Hey, we speak the same language. Oh, that's weird. A Twi'lek who speaks basic. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... I want to ask you some questions. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Tell me about Kalo. Kalo Nord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk <laughs> to me. He hangs around Zach's yeah, we saw that. office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalo's been hired by Dad to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. Tell me about Davik. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations. The Ebon Hawk. 
I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sid blockade. Of course, <laughs> this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Tell me about the gang. Well, I wonder if we could... Hmm, maybe we can try and get on his good side and try and work with him. There's or at least get a tour there, break in. Here in the lower city. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Why did Brezhik leave the Becks? When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Becks from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Nah, that's all. You going? Yeah, this diet's pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. But I haven't finished eating. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go... Yeah, there's just a weird alien in there I don't want to talk to. Um, yeah, I'll do this. Can't you see I'm auditioning? This is my shot at the big time. I can't risk screwing it up by talking to you. Ah, what's the use? There's no way Bib's gonna hire me unless he gets a chance to see me dance with a partner. Maybe I should just give up. Why don't you have a partner? Or maybe I could be your partner. I admit, I'm getting desperate. I'd hate to blow this audition, but I don't know if I'm ready to pair with a random passerby. How do I know you're any good? Good enough to get you through the audition. Okay, come on now. What choice do you have? There you go. I guess you'll have to do... Don't screw this up. Mr. Surul. I can't read all this out. This is too much reading. Okay, so if I remember how to do this properly... Dance just beside her. Do the little hip sway. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's supposed to be close beside her. So it's still more hip sway, and then the woo woo fist bump. Running around in circles while she dances. It's so good. Here we go. So who knows why you need a partner for this dance, but you know what? Sure. Nice tempo, looking good. No. Well, like, little Jedi mind trick going on there. So you can ruin her audition, you can dance very close to face to face, which also fails, or you can just dance beside her again. You just do nothing but sit here and sway your hips back and forth for like two minutes, and then this person gets a job, apparently. Because, you know, space dancing is so easy. Well, what do you think? Do I get the job? Relax, you made it, you got it. It's incredible, I don't believe it. Believe it, kid. Thank you, thanks. If you're ever traveling in the galaxy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Free XP. So supposedly Kalo Nord hangs out here, but that's just wrong. Uh, Zax here is the hut who offers the bounties. If any bounties available, legal and otherwise, but they all pay quite well. You're here for information. Um, what about the bounties? Two government contracts and a status named Selvin, the other is Ben Daxar Killer. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. Auto bounties are dangerous. Got some special contracts. Once we're gone, idea. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing. This Matrix used to work for Davik. Uh, talking about Matrix. Yeah. I want 400 for this. Ah, look at that. Nice. Cool. So then. 
There's Bendak and Selvin that we can definitely go do. Largo was already paid off. And then... Uh, we got Dia still, who... Maybe I can scrounge up 200 credits to give her. Or maybe she has credits that she could at least pay, like, half of it or something. Um, in the meantime, we are going to... Yeah, let's talk to the Hidden Bex. Hey, you can't just, just walk, walk in, in here. here. Any Gaden's help, I was told to speak with him. A lot of him. people want to go inside and speak to Gaden. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Bex open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Valkyrie gang war, Gaden has more... Maybe I could be an ally. If you try to bribe her, she says no, but you could just say maybe I could be a friend and she'll just let you in. And you don't look like you're with the Vultures, or besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm. So you're gonna let me in? Speak to Gadon if you want. Just from. Yeah, some door guard, huh? So there is a little exploit that you can do here. Um, if you want to do it, you make Karth wear it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trade that Sith armor we got for uh, authorization papers to get into the Undercity. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down. And the, the exploit is you going to try make Karth wear the armor and then send him back to the hideout. Be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. And then you'll get to keep the armor too, but it's, we don't know it's, it's not that good. And it's, my job it's just to make two sure defense and a dexterity bonus. It's not, strangers on site, Zerdra, it's not like worth the it. Focus do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Volker's spy. Chill out, Zerdra. have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Bredrick and the Volkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Any information? I want to ask you some questions. I don't see any harm in that. What did you want to know? I need information on this Republic escape pods. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. <sighs> yeah, I'm not working for the Sith, I don't worry. I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Bastila's a slave? What's gonna happen to her? The Vulcas would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Rezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. Must be some way I can help her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller A lot of beeps and boops gangs. going on over here, huh? Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila, then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. Gad, can you help me with I this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Becks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcars stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. How am I supposed to get into the base? Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. 
Mission fail. Mission? Gaddon, you can't Oh, she was the one from the cantina. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Where can I find her? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. We got some uniforms. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City card. But the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the... Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. Since we're working together now... Alright, I'll trade. choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these. I'll be I back when I get it. All right, now we got the proper. Get out of the way. We got the proper uh, authorization papers to head down to the Undercity, which we can also use to get back down here and pass the guard without needing a uh, Sith uniform, thankfully. You know, I should probably. No, Ready? I need to save these levels, actually. We can certainly fight these guys. They got a couple more Valkers. Especially if we're going to be helping the Bex. Might as well clean up a few while we can. Here we'll get to see if that mod worked. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? I don't see Davik doing anything for his share. We do all the work. Davik claims he's part of the exchange, so let him prove it. Yeah, let's see Big Crime Lord come and get his money. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Ice, it worked. Don't Oh, hey, Candorus, we didn't know you was working for Davik now. Yeah, we were just goofing around here. We don't want no trouble with a Mandalorian. Here's his cut. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. So I think we can talk to him, right? Those Valkers are dumber yeah. than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little <laughs> gang of theirs makes them important. Gaddon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bats. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to follow them into the other set of apartments down here. Go ahead and clear it out, see what else we can find. Oh, there's more Kalo Nord, apparently. You seem to be taking a great interest in our progress. Do you need something, in a little man? Quiet, Lurgo. That's Kalonor, the infamous bounty hunter. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Only way you'll collect that bounty is over a cold, dead body. That's the plan. That's the plan. Look at those pistols. I want those pistols. Hey, Nord, let's fight. Little shrimp boy. <laughs> Short king out here. Let's not mess with those guys. Instead, I think this guy, yeah, this gang boss uses an energy shield. Yeah. Thankfully, I'm using a sword, so it doesn't really matter. Ow. And Karth is getting into a fight. Now let him deal with that. The combat suit, some more stuff. Ooh, an armor reinforcement is really good. Let's see if I can pick this mine up. We can use that to upgrade some unique armor if we find any. Ah, uh, skill too low. What if I can... Actually, what are my... What's my demo? Five, Karth is zero. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and disable it then. Let's see what do we got in here? Just more random crap. Oh, hey guys. Oh, nice grenade. Yeah, the grenades are really good early in this game. Not so much in the second game, but they're not worthless. There's a few times they're really good, but... 
lot of enemies have either way less or way more health in the second game, so you either don't need it or worthless. And just some more parts and stuff. What's this guy got? The ion grenade, huh? I suppose if we fight some droids, there's one big droid we're gonna fight soon. Let's just throw another grenade at these guys, because they're fun. <laughs> I wonder if you can pick up this. This is another, um... If you remember... Ooh, was that on the upper... S no, that was here in the lower city that we did the, uh... Where we got the Sith armor by doing that little twisted, twisted Rancor trio. Um, if you read this, you'll find it out, but... Because this box is an owner, there's no interface for you to try and slice it. You gotta figure out the actual password. Try to enter it. It is... Ooh, the name of your pet was Hyperdrive. Your uncle taught you to fire a blaster, and they're from Alderaan. All of that is written... Okay, it's still the mod armor. Interesting. It could be better. All of this is in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, that desk tells you, Hey, your pet was hyperdrive. Your uncle taught you how to shoot. Stay safe. Come back to Alderaan soon. So rather than no reading through all that, because this is already going to take long enough. Ah, Selvin, there was a bounty Stop on her. There. Who are you? No. I was just exploring, okay. I didn't know. And then, let's see, let's go ahead and throw on a shield here, because she is quite tough. I gave you now. So we run back in here, and we get to fight her. And we missed. Ah! Nice. And she's going to punch us. Okay. I guess there is no point in me putting on this shield, and apparently I just can't do it. I, I, it's just not possible. I just can't do it. There we go. Get some backstabs. Ow. Yes. There we go. So apparently I just don't want to attack her, so I was saving our levels for that, but I guess Karth could use one. Give him more treat injury. Beats. Improved power blast I think will be good. I guess I might as well level up as well. Um, I think I want more intelligence. Man, I can't get any more persuade. Ah. Let's go power up our uh, ah, uncanny dodge and implants. I, uh, as a scout, I forgot to mention, I also get uncanny dodge, which I think is like resisting... Next area bonus to save when surprised boss against plus two. Okay, yeah. So you're a little bit better against grenades. Um oh, look at that! Selvin's blaster! Wow, and almost full upgrades for it too. Um, I'll put this on, yes. And then how does this compare to Karth's blaster? 3 to 13. Oh, okay. So it's just an upgradable heavy blaster then. Yeah. It has the same initial stats, but look at that! Unique model. Kind of looks like Django's pistol yes. from Attack of the Clones. It's been a while since I've seen that, but uh, it looks pretty similar to those. And just one more Valker in here. I guess Karth doesn't want to help me with this one. Alright, that's fine. Do it on my own. Get even more parts and spikes. It's like the only thing you find in these boxes. Besides some adrenals. Which we don't really care about. So right there, there's some Valkyrs that are going to ambush us here. And then right there is the path down to the Undercity. But let's just, again, give a classic grenade because it's all I do. Because it's fun. Oh. Sometimes you can get close enough that the uh, Sith will actually start shooting at them. Which is pretty fun. I leveled up again. Wow. Uh, let's see here. I wanted Persuade and Security. Or two-weapon fighting. Maybe I can finally use two swords. Yeah. There we go. Now I can start doing a lot more damage. Hopefully. Get out of the way, Karth. Hopefully, anyways. Uh, so this elevator... Oh, Jesus, Karth. <laughs> Uh, I was about to end the episode, but fine, we'll yes, talk to him. I just want to talk with you. Argue some more, is that it? I'm always up for a good fight. So I've seen. If I were Malak, I'd be a bit nervous to have you on my tail. 
I just don't trust easily, and for good reasons, which are my own. Well, we have to work together, so it has plenty to do with me. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? What do I have to do with Malak and Revan? That. It's, that's not what I mean. There were, there were others, good, solid, trusted men who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done, but the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. No mercy. You said it was such hatred. I know. I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, now that Karth is done interrupting us, um, we're gonna head down to the Undercity, try and find mission, and then try and get into the Black Valker base. Do that swoop race and win Bastila, so then we can... save a Jedi who apparently can't save herself. Um... Yeah. Yeah, that'll. I think that'll do it for uh, this episode. I will. I'll be back next time. Um, maybe later today. I don't know. We'll see. Depending on when this one goes up. Peace out.